Oh, well, the sun is just rising above the uh, the forest edge there. I grew up in the country, and uh, and I feel very at home in the country. I love the country. I feel like oh, I can breathe a sigh of relief. But I live in a town. <clears throat> I've lived in a city most of my adult life. And uh, ultimately yearns for the countryside. And I'm sat here <laughs> with a piggy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> and my friends. And. Uh, the piggies are roaming free, and there's cows in the field. Oh, oh they were there behind. Free on the land, and uh, yeah, the land is for all life. And there's a bit of heaven on earth, and yeah, he does take looking after, <clears throat> and the animals take take looking after, and. Uh, <coughs> it takes effort. And humans like to be useful and like to do things. Um, I question whether life through a screen inside, not connected with the earth, not connected with people. I question that. And I question... In, in in the shops, the um, oops, I need those. <laughs> the um, you know whether we can be served by a person or I, I personally don't go on the um, on the automated ones um, because it's just nice that little bit of human interaction and we're human beings. We're meant to be social creatures. We're not meant to be cut off from everything and not connect with others and yes I can see why no actually I don't know if I can see why <laughs> it's all about money isn't it you get rid of the staff automate everything but gosh how many millions is spent on all of that automation processes and uh, ooh, there's another piggy over there and uh, dehumanizing factors because people don't want to be doing nothing they don't want to be useless we like to feel that we have purpose and things to contribute and things to do and to care and to look after but that's how I feel I think many people are the same. I speak to many people and even the lady in the shop. I stopped at the service station and uh, I had to wait for her. And uh, and I said I prefer service with a human being. And she said, yeah, thank you for keeping me in a job. It's, uh, it's a crucial time that we seem to be, be living in. And I do say that if I didn't know the Holy Scriptures and I didn't know the prophecy then I don't would my hope be lost I'm not quite sure because I certainly hope in the, the return of Christ and the promise of heaven on earth and the, the healing from Revelation 21 on which I write yeah because it's all about the love and the love within our body and that is a physiological state where we don't have the stress hormones um, and, um, and all of that hyped up adrenaline and stimulants and caffeines and power aids and power drinks and just all of that stress which is exciting Ah, doggies. good doggies. Hey, come on then. It's the doggies coming out now. Oh, so 
Oh, oh my gosh. Mm. And uh, yeah, so I say that love is not a cortisol stress hormone because the cortisol, excess cortisol is where all of our stress and ailments and anxieties and um, pain and disease come from. <clears throat> That's in my learning as a, as a therapist. And also in my life, I've had to work through many, many, many <laughs> stress, trauma, uh, pain, and um, and I know that it's it's possible. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, and the new heaven is actually described in gemstones. Now that reveals the consciousness of the healing process. Um, but also the stones do have the same elements that we're made up of and they do uh, they do work for for that. So I'm going to read <coughs> this poem to you. So New Heaven. And that's uh, what all of my writing is on. And so New Heaven, the New Jerusalem, which is for twofold peace. Jerusalem means twofold peace. So everything real is invisible. So when I say that line, I'm talking about feelings. Em, do you mind being in the video, Em? Are you all right in here? Because I'm going to put it on YouTube. <laughs> so everything real is invisible. Gifts of jasper transformed from pearls. Emeralds made from sapphire squared, obtaining to amethyst shining like diamonds dancing delicately on water. Chalstoni waltzing with topaz. Sardonic serenading, sardius, turquoise passions speaking love. Love made whole, like an olivine, fulfilling, complete, like a mine of treasures with no dragon, no pirates or opposition, just understanding with reason. Chrysolite gold molten into an emerald river flowing to a chrysopase sea. <clears throat> And that's the uh, the names of the gemstones that are in Revelation 21, 18. I think it is, I described. And so the new heaven is like a jasper stone and the jasper relating to the courage, the courage that it takes for us to stand up against things that are wrong and say, no, that's not okay. To have that strength of our King of Kings in order to attain to the peace, because he is our Prince of Peace. And when we compromise our peace, we lose the peace, then we become stressed. The gemstones that are listed for the New Jerusalem, they all refract the whole spectrum of light with biorefringence. <clears throat> and so, uh, of course, God's love is all about light on every level. And so in this uh, cup of love here, I'm... Uh, showing that connection of the light and so we have the love and the faith in order to discern what's right or wrong to make conscious to maintain friendship and unity for love and peace and happiness and so this poem crown of stones <clears throat> so the heavenly stones of new jerusalem um, and the crown, the crown chakra, is where um, our peace comes from. It's when our hormones in our body are balanced, and um, the endocrine system is is a, a, attuned to the love and the peace and the fruits of the spirit. The love, the faith, the joy, the kindness, the mildness, the goodness, the patience and the self-control not to abuse or hurt another. And then we can have peace via a quiet conscience. Um, and so the crown of stones are for you. So Revelation 21. Crowns and thoughts for healing for all nations. <clears throat> uh, Jasper, sapphire, chastoni, emerald, sardonic, sardius, chrysolite, beryl, topaz, chrysopase, hyacinth and amethyst. For 144,000 positive thoughts for the revelation crowns of incorruptibility, immortality, righteousness, life, and the glory of God's love made whole and one in us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So, Jesus Christ in our body, which is the temple for love to dwell. 
<clears throat> and that's why God is love. <laughs> because without that energy force, we're stressed. So I've got a few little crown chakras on here. I've got, uh, I think I've got the seven, seven angels as well. So. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful day. The crown of stones are for you. For your love to be made whole for you. For your pain to be healed for you. For your heart to beat as one with love for you. For your thinking and feeling hemispheres to be joined for you. For love to conquer fear for you, in you, for others, for God. For enlightenment of love's light for you. For love of God who is love of others as self for you. A perfect measure made golden for you, others and God. <clears throat> um, for enlightenment of love's light for you, for love of God, who is love of others as self for you, a perfect measure made golden for you, others and God, for mind, body and spirit to be one, joined, connected, whole, one, <clears throat> I, the I am. Made whole again in love, worthy of honour. In you, for you, self-actualisation. Kudi, only love is one, complete, unbroken. For you, in you, for God's glory. Vitality is vibrant vibrations resonating positive energy for life, well-being and peace. For you and others to be made whole in God's love again. Thanks be to God through the whole spirit of love anointed, namely Jesus Christ. Amen. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Isai is the Arabic name, Christos in Greek. And by their fruits we know them, and blessed are the peacemakers, for they are all children of God. Jesus Christ said, oh, no, no, no. is that another little misprint told here? <laughs> Sometimes I'll get them wrong. So, um, yeah, and the peace process comes from <clears throat> um, the tribes of Israel. And so the tribe of Israel that's listed at Revelation 7 is one different from the one listed in Genesis. <clears throat> um, and so... Um, we have, um, in, in Revelation, um, oh, oh, I'm sitting on it, because <laughs> the log's a bit wet, uh, um, okay, so the New Jerusalem doesn't, oops, hold on, sorry, um, yeah, Dan isn't listed in the New Jerusalem, but he is on the gates. And so Dan, representing the judgment for justice and peace. <clears throat> so um, I have studied uh, all of this in great depth, and I have books on that. But uh, then that all changed into poetry, so I listened to... God and the poems rather than seeking my own publication although I did try <clears throat> um, but <laughs> I seem to be kept busy with all of this but hopefully I'll uh, be able to get them published at some point in some way <clears throat> um, yeah so the new heaven having the courage and faith and happiness and peace we have to wrestle to understand between what's right and wrong we have to be able to forgive, we have to hear, we have to listen, we have to listen to what that hurt and pain or upset is. We have to adhere to the process of having the faith to, to seek for peace and happiness and the courage to face those truths that are often hurtful, especially if there's been abuse. Um, and then the body will be able to release the endorphin reward. And so that I see that as the change as the twinkling uh, of an eye because our nervous system sits 
at the centre of the eye and through our body, obviously. Uh, and then uh, when we've managed to overcome our own things, we have to tolerate others who are still on their journey because life is a journey. It's a journey for us all. And we all have, we all have that uh, quest to seek what makes us feel peaceful and happy. <clears throat> uh, we have to have trust, and you can see the, the amethyst of the truth of the tribe of Ben <coughs> is uh, through the centre and is what sets us free. Um, yeah, and so, so I'll show here how the, um, the consciousness of, of the qualities of the traits of the tribes of Israel relate to that light which is love the cup of love so the, the two witnesses of God's love are the two <laughs> the two olive trees but uh, I always see a capital O as a whole so I see that as two whole lives where the love and the whole spirit of love and the peace and joy and happiness are are maintained and it it is actually, it's the sins that take away from that. So uh, <clears throat> where the sin is, uh, there's a guilty conscience, there's a disturbance of the peace, there's a loss of the peace, there's a cause of stress in the body. And so, yeah, the revelation, revolution is at hand. For surely God knows what is best for man. He says, don't dim his light with sin, for surely sin will not benefit him. When is doomsday? None can be sure, but maybe already there is a door, a door to open for man to see how God's love will become heavenly. The door only needs one special key to make life perfect for you and for me. We need to polarise the spectrum of light and shine the way forth for all to live right. The light is shining bright forthwith and commands consciousness of how God's love forgives. <clears throat> and that's what leads to sound mental health and gets rid of the anxieties. And so to the politicians, isn't it time we hit the middle road? Stop weaving left and right and just do what is right by all. Time to stop meandering through stagnant failures and water falling profits in one direction. Stop blocking the water, stop damming the flow. Open up the reservoirs of wealth, melt the icebergs of fear and let abundance flow to the people. Make waves of contentment, tsunamis of opportunities, raise the tide mark for prosperity. Sift out the sewage and let people surf to a prosperous new world. Because it is the meek who inherit the earth. And the new heaven brings heaven on earth. And it's all about attaining to that peace within us, which comes from the Christ consciousness of love, of that wholeness of love, the oneness of love. And overcoming the stress hormones in our body, which this world loves to stimulate <laughs> and produce stress and fear and keep us out of our conscious brain. But that's coming to an end because that's God's promise and God wins this war and yeah there's some terrible things that go on in our world and why are we at war now goodness me after Covid after Covid and then going to war and killing more people and all those families and children and communities and babies it's mad sorry it is it's madness it's madness insane it's insanity because we all need to work together to make a beautiful world and that doesn't <clears throat> mean uh, closing everybody up in cities without easy access to beautiful tranquil peaceful natural world I'm gonna read this one as well <clears throat> this is called light view a reflection of time uh, because obviously these <coughs> the, the gemstones of Revelation that I write on and I've given them to um, 
I would like to say most churches, if not every church, I've tried, I've done my best, uh, given the big heavenly scroll of life. Um, and um, yeah, I do my, my best to, to share, but <clears throat> a lot of people, a lot of people think of uh, crystals as New Age and anti Christ or New Age I recently found out. So that comes from the Luciferian Society. Um, somebody Bailey. And their purpose is similar to the uh, the New World Order of removing God from um, education, from schools, from family um, and taking yeah, taking God out of our cultural being. Which I don't think they realise that, that God is the foundation of, of the law, of identifying the sin as um, something that takes away the peace. <clears throat> um, and so law is for justice and peace and Jesus Christ upheld the law, he fulfilled the law and the law needs to be fulfilled in order to have <clears throat> that peace which then allows the faith, that positive Oh, the ultimate positive thought of being able to create and be create, be even be creative, because stress will shut down that create creativity, um, and find that joy, find that expression, because it's all about expression of ourselves, and that's what life is, and it goes on and on and on forever. It it's uh, it, it's just you know that is the life process for us all, and um, and how beautiful it is, yeah. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, and so so, and, and of course, a lot of um, perhaps things that are called alternative or psychology also come <clears throat> or are included there. Um, except um, that doesn't mean that they're they're not from God, because all wonderful counsel is from God, and wonderful counsel will turn a negative hurt pain back to a positive and also work to prevent it so um yeah so the new age needs to be understood that it's um to get rid of rid of god not to, not to embrace that 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 love and that healing and ultimately christ was a healer we must remember that so <clears throat> yeah <laughs> I think I've been removed from a church for giving these out as well. Light view, a reflection of time. ADCE. There once were dark times, very dark times, when we were taught not to look at the sun, moon and stars, when they thought crystal healing was a cult and anti to Christ. Fear controlling times, when we were tempted to turn away from the sun and that Christmas was just once a year. Those were dark times. Stressed, depressed, anxious, dark times. Men's doctrines in churches lost God's healing light. Men who did not know that chakras grow light from Christ's love. The church thought gemstones were new age and anti to Christ. Those were confused and hellish times. Sin, betrayal and abuse condoned by a hundred Hail Marys. Forgiveness from childless men. Child abuse is against God's Holy Spirit, and they said crystals were anti to Christ. Crystal gemstones that Jesus Christ said, the stones will cry out for peace from Zion, heaven on earth as promised. The heavenly gemstones of New Jerusalem cry out for the healing peace of Christ. For healing all nations, where we will learn abuse and war no more, where the light of Zion will arise and shine brightly. Yes, those were dark times, very dark times, hellish times, when the churches thought healing chakras and crystals were anti to Christ. <clears throat> and I saw a new heaven. Everything real is invisible. Gifts of jasper transformed from pearls. Jesus Christ, the light of this world, is returning quickly. Come to the heavenly city for healing, all nations and heaven on earth. Zion, the light is shed forth. Isaiah 60.
from Perusia, Armageddon. And it's all about love conquering fear and learning to be at one with our environment, with each other, and being able to talk and understand, why not? And always with God's love, for God who is love, and the greater community, the greater everything, and love of others as self, because we need to love ourselves as well. <clears throat> and that's something that, um, you know, sort of the way of the world and as women and as mothers, um, we do put ourselves last. Um, and, <laughs> yeah, that is sort of how we are. But in an ideal world, then our husband would would pick us up and and take take care <clears throat> and our family support systems but sometimes those get lost I, was, my, I lost my mum at a young age um, and at my, my dad at a fairly young age as well because I was an adopted child and my mum and dad were <clears throat> a little bit older um, so uh, when <clears throat> you don't have those support structures um, but I did have them in my younger years, and they really did give me the foundations for what's kept me going to where I am and who I am today, thanks be to God. So we do have to have that, that self-love and self-acknowledgement and that presence, because today is our present. Our present is a present only if and when we are present. which should be pleasantly pleasing, <laughs> which can be pleasantly pleasing, which all depends on how we make it. <clears throat> and life is God's gift. Thanks be to God. And so to end the wars, we have to, well, we have to learn to love our neighbours, our global neighbours too. And, um, and those that may be perceived as enemies, because at the end of the day, we're all human beings. <clears throat> and with love, we create the hue that makes us human and our humanity. But without that love, we're just caught by the fleshly hormonal traits of fear, anger, grief, pain, which leads to sickness. And we're in a world that's got a lot of, a lot of sickness. And a lot dependent on the, on pharmacia, which is highly profitable. Unfortunately, I need to take a blood pressure medication, um, and I keep working at that, so I'll conquer it one day. But uh, yeah. <coughs> anyway. I can only thank God I'm still here, really. So, uh, God bless. Hallelujah. Keep faith. Know that uh, the light is coming. Heaven on earth is a promise. And uh, we just need to adhere to that wonderful, glorious love and light of Christ that brings the peace within our body, which is the temple for love to dwell. And that does have the chakras, which are just the energy um, attaining to when, when you can see the light when you have the light then that's when we're with love because they get dimmed without the love and uh, without love it's distress which all comes from fear and that's how we've been made that's how our nervous system works so we're made in the image of God but we need we need to have those um, other bodily functions in order for our body to work. So for our body to be able to detox and let go and eliminate, then there does have to be the processes to do that, which I think are what come from that um, that sympathetic nervous system. But uh, there we go. You scientists can uh, find out what all of that is. <laughs> but 
yeah <laughs> we um we need to be able to go for a wee <laughs> and uh, eliminate from our body and we have to have those um, elimination processes but it's up to us to conquer the fears and overcome with love and joy and that glory of love and light. God bless. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is returning. And let the pigs and animals be free. Put the chickens back out on the fields and let them fertilize naturally without having to add any awful chemicals that create allergies in people, that create sickness in people. <coughs> and uh, yeah, how beautiful. There's plenty of space for us all. We don't need to push us into little cages or boxes. Or There's plenty here for everybody. But everybody needs to contribute as well. God bless. Thanks be to God. <laughs>